What's good, people? We are finally here with this NBA 2K16 Ultimate Legends Roster Project 2.0. And we're getting it started with two. Two, basically, I, you'd have to say, uh, loosely say, all-time greats in the Washington Wizards, Washington Bullets organization. So, one a quick note before we go any further. I want to let you guys know this year, and then all of the there's a, a ton of information in the description uh, about rosters, but I'm going to just say this just this one time from now on. I'm just going to tell you guys, hey, refer to the uh, description for uh, for to answer some of the questions you may have on the roster. Uh, but I'm doing two rosters this year. Okay, I am doing a roster where we'll have the all-time team set, so I'll put the guys on the teams that where they had their best season or at least where the the version of the player that I'm uh, recreating the team he was on at the time so as you see you know uh, West on sale with the with the Wizards or bullets or what have you and then also what we're gonna do is I'm doing a roster where I just dump all of the created legends into the free agent pool which was something that people asked for last year and I decided to go ahead and deliver for you guys this year also Something that was very much asked for as well over the last two years for both draft classes as well as the uh, Legends roster. You guys asked for Xbox One rosters. Now, I'm not personally handling it, but I want to refer you to my main man, Mr. 502 Media. He is going to be duplicating the rosters this year. Um, he'll put up a video shortly after Minor. Or somewhere in that neighborhood, or you can keep he'll you can uh, he can keep you posted on his progress making this roster. Uh, you can click the link that is in the description for his channel. So go ahead and run over there and subscribe to him right now. I will not wait till the video's over, but as soon as the video's over, go ahead and subscribe, and then you'll be able to stay abreast of what is going on in regards to the rosters. So there's that. So hopefully uh, you guys stuck with me and didn't skip through the video too much and you was able to get that message. Now, the way the videos are going to go this year, I'm pretty much doing them all as a how-to. It's going to be three players at a time. And as you saw, this particular inaugural episode is going to cover Gilbert Arenas, Wes Unsailed, and Charles Barkley with the Phoenix Suns. Because uh, there will be a second Charles Barkley. So, um... What we're going to do is I'm going to show first show you just the guys shooting around so you can get an opportunity to see what they look like in the uniform as well as what some of their signature shots and stuff like that will look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and shut on up for a second to show you guys the uh, how to aspects of it. So every screen that's going to be needed for you to recreate this guy, if you want to do that, it will be right there for you to do uh, or right there for you to see. And then we'll pick it back up and start talking again for the next guy. And we'll repeat that process until we finish all three. So without further ado, the first one I'm showing you now is absolutely one of the all-time greats. His name is Wes Unsailed. And we are using the 75-76 version of Wes Unsailed. He was 29 years old. He led the league in field goal percentage that year. It's 56%. Just shows you how much the game has changed when a guy can lead the league in field goal percentage with 56% shooting. He averaged only 9.6 points a game, never a big score, but 13.3 rebounds, 5.2 uh, assists, and 1.6 steals. He was always an undersized center, about 6'7", 6'8". I believe he's listed as 6'7". That's the, uh, all of the heights and weight references are per basketballreference.com. So some people may have some discrepancies, but just know that from the beginning. And so this was only the second season that the NBA actually kept steals and blocks as an official statistic. Uh, Unsell is known for his defense and rebounding primarily. He's also an excellent passer, especially on outlet passes. Uh, he played his entire career as a member of the Washington Bullets or Capital Bullets for one season. And he last played back in 80-81. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1988. And he is uh, an 85 overall in the game.
let's jump into Gilbert Arenas. Played his, he played with the Golden State Warriors, the Washington Wizards, the Orlando Magic, and the Memphis Grizzlies. Best years were definitely with the Wizards. The season that I took is the 05-06 season. He was 24 years old. He averaged 3.5 rebounds, 6.1 assists, 2 steals, 29.3 points per game that year, 3.7 turnovers, which is kind of high, and he shot 44% from the field, which is, yeah, you know, 37% from three-point range, which was pretty good, and 82% from the free-throw line. Now, he's known for his speed, his ability to finish in the paint, and score punches, score punches, score points in bunches, for real. Um, now, aside for the steals, which is obviously a very good uh, per-game average at two a game, he really was just an average on-ball defender. The steals primarily came from playing passing lanes, which is a way that a lot of times guys can look like better defenders than they really are. Uh, Steph Curry's a guy that you'd have to look at in that situation. Steph's just an average defender, but the steals can lead you to believe he's a little bit better than average. So that's that. Um, you know, uh, I mean, Gilbert Arenas is still only 34 years old. Can you really just grasp that? He's only 34 years old. But the incident with Javaris Crittenton pretty much ruined his career. And, um, man, that's um, that's unfortunate. But, you know, that's what happened. Um, you know, so uh, it, it's a shame. It's one of those tragedies in, in basketball, wondering what would have happened had, you know, that not happened. And then he also had the knee injuries as well, which didn't, didn't help either. And some people would probably say the knee injuries had more effect than the uh, than the Javaris Crittenden uh, inc uh, incident. So there's that. And here's the rest of Gilbert Arenas' ratings and settings and such.
Last but not least, we have the round now and a rebound. Sir Charles, Charles Barkley. I'm using the 92-93 version of Barkley. 29 years old. And I didn't mention this, that uh, Gilbert Arenas is, uh, was uh, rated an 84 overall. But And you saw that probably with the screen anyway, but just wanted to throw it out there. Charles Barkley is an 86 overall, 25.6 points per game, big time year. This was his MVP season, uh, 5.1 assists, 1.6 steals, a block, 12.2 uh, rebounds, 52% shooting from the field, 76% shooting from the free throw line, and 30% shooting from three-point range. Obviously, Charles was a fierce rebounder. Pretty intense competitor. It was an on and off and on kind of a defender, though. Uh, he could flip it on when he wanted to, but um, primarily I wouldn't call him a consistent defender. But he did have exceptional strength and athleticism, which was what a, pretty much allowed him to play much bigger than he was. I mean, we're talking about somebody is six foot six, which is just generous height given to him. That's what he's listed as, so that's why I have him as in the game. But six foot six is mighty short for power forward, even back when Barkley played, uh, let alone now. But Barkley is one of those special players that uh, you feel pretty confident that he could have produced in whatever era he played in. So that's that for the first episode of the Legends roster. Take be look be on the lookout for these coming pretty rapid fire. I'm not gonna necessarily say uh, give too much specifics on how quickly. But I'm going to tell you it's the number one priority right now on my channel with me turning out videos for it. So uh, we're going to try to get this done ASAP. It's over 170 legends in this particular year's roster. So I'm, I'm trying to cover all the gaps, basically, trying to cover them all. So um, as I mentioned, check out that description if you have any additional questions. And also, if you want that information on the Xbox One rosters and how to follow Mr. 502 Media for that, go ahead and check out the description for the link as well. I appreciate you watching. God bless. Peace.